welcome to zt classes so today we learn how to draw dc motor so for drawing dc motor i am drawing lines which you get on the sheet or in the answer sheet so let's start with drawing the magnets first so magnets will be facing opposite poles towards each other that is one is north pole another will be south pole and let's draw the axis of rotation first and the armature so here in the diagram we are showing one armature and in practical you will get there are uh, minimum 3 and up to 8 or 10 armatures are there depending on how powerful the motor is and after armature the main part of dc motor that is the split ring commutator so here i am drawing this commutator with slightly bigger in size and more gap so the drawing it becomes clear and after you draw split ring commutator let's draw the carbon brush once carbon brush are drawn so we'll make the circuit and for that we'll draw the wires and this wire will connect to the battery let's draw the wire on the other side also this is the terminal and let's finish the diagram with the battery so this diagram looks almost complete but there are still few things are missing and the first one that is missing is the switch so let's draw a switch here and now once switch is drawn the carbon brushes they are also missing the spring is missing with carbon brushes let's draw the spring well the diagram looks complete let's do the labeling of the diagram this is the main axis is there and this is your armature and the north and south pole these are your magnets are there and then let's draw the carbon brush and the spring and this main part that split ring commutator and coming below we'll get this is battery so it is switch and the battery terminals are there and battery is there so let's check the diagram if we'll close the switch then the current is flowing from the positive terminal throughout the armature and to the negative terminal now at the armature if you will see the magnetic field it's moving from north pole to south pole so this arrow is representing the magnetic field the current is going upward so this is the current direction and if you apply fleming's left hand rule so we'll get the direction of force here in this case the direction of force is coming downward right so throughout this left side of armature the direction of force is downward and logically the direction of force on the right side of armature will be upward this force will create a torque and the armature will rotate anti clockwise and this is complete diagram of dc motor i hope this will help you out in drawing the dc motor easily in the future thank you for watching